everything that you're going to do is going to be shared onto the screen anyway. Um, so there's only going to be additional stuff that you could use the book for today. But by next class, you're going to want to make sure you have the book up and going. I want I didn't make it too reliant on it today in case there was any issues related to that. So, um, but the thing that we are going to be doing, and I wanted to get you guys kind of aware of, is the weekly bit of writing. Now we're going to call it either, it's going to be under the title um, journal, weekly journal on the Google Classroom. It is not necessarily going to be a journal, but just to keep the category the same and the title the same, um, that's what it's going to be. Every Sunday at midnight will be when you are expected to submit your piece of writing. Now, the general expectation is it's going to be around three paragraphs long. Now, if you want, it can be about one topic in three paragraphs, or it can be about three different paragraphs, right? Um, the idea is that if you're gonna take that approach during uh, the later weeks when we're doing narrative writing, you can do, write three short narrative paragraphs or you can write one three paragraph long narrative. Or the other option is, and that's why we call it journal, is you can just write a journal three paragraphs about something that happened in your life or a goal you have. Um, yeah, so it's good to be three paragraphs submitted every Sunday at midnight. I've already created a spot for this week's. Um, this is a very short turnaround for this week, obviously, because we start on a Thursday and that submission is going to be on a Sunday. So it's only going to be three or four days long until you have to um, submit that. So I'm, on, I'm aware of that. It's going to probably be a little bit shorter. Um, but the benefit is with that task, especially with this one from the first week, I don't want you to take it to the editing process, right? You're only with the idea of keeping it like a real journal for the first week anyways, your only thing you're going to do is writing. So free form writing, there's not gonna be any marking for spelling, punctuation and grammar the first time, again, due to the nature of the three week turnaround, okay? So I'm just trying to keep it reasonable and fair for the first little time. Uh, so, well, so I wanted to lay out beginning what's gonna be expected. Yes, Owen. Uh, so it just can be about like anything that happened this week or something. Yeah, uh, I don't. Um, I haven't met you guys really yet. So like, if your birthday was this week, um, looks like some Ryan might have a birthday or someone in his family might have a birthday this week. So even if it's not his birthday, maybe just a couple paragraphs about the birthday party that he attended, right, or that was held at his house. Um, or yeah, it can be if you want to something like again three paragraphs about what you want to be when you grow up, right? Or uh, something you really want to do this summer or uh, what school, what do you want to do when you go to high school? What classes you want to take? Any sort of thing, right? Go with it any sort of way. What, uh, what you, your dream holiday, right? Because the, the idea with the journal, it's any, it's what you're thinking about for that while and three paragraphs. So that's going to be the goal, right? Every Sunday, three paragraphs, um, right. So for the first two weeks, it will be a journal. And then starting from that, you, you'll be able to choose between journal and um, a different type of writing style, depending on what we are doing that week. So this is usually not how a class is going to start with all that chatting at the beginning. How a class is going to start usually at four o'clock is going to be what you see ahead of you. There's going to be five to 10 sentences. Each one of these sentences has a minimum of two as an up to four mistakes. I will leave them up. I will give you guys, we'll say five minutes. You will read each sentence. You will write it down. And you will locate the errors. So you will edit them, you will write down all three sentences edited and corrected. Um, so I'm gonna start the timer on my phone. Dun, dun. 
done. Excellent. So we got a couple of people done. That's good. We're down to the 10 seconds. Excellent. All right. So perfect. All right. And do, 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 do. And there's the timer. Okay. So um, let's go with um, Owen. What are a couple of, what are the mistakes you spotted in the first, in the first sentence? Um, it said, uh, um, your i don't think you mean like the e end like a exactly yes that's a contraction for you are and i just mean your like it belongs to you perfect so that's one of the mistakes there then, did you get any more of the other ones yeah, in that sentence bodies um bodies yep. like i think you mean like uh I forgot what it's called. Like, it's apostrophe. It needs apostrophe yeah. where the S is. You're, yep, you've got it. You, you knew what you wanted. Any and other ones? Way is spelled wrong. Perfect. There's only, did you get the last one? There's one more in that one. No, I didn't get it. All right, Ryan, you want to jump in? Is it the R supposed to be an is? Perfect, yep. That's the four of them, right? So a body, a sneeze is your body's way to get rid of irritants. Thank you very much. All right. So um, let's go then with Maggie. Did you want to take on number two for me, please? Um, so the first mistake would be no. It's supposed to be like, did you know? And not like, no, like as if you don't want something. And the second one is it's. You have to add an apostrophe before the S. Yes. So when it's, well, there's two it's, right? It's, when it is a contraction of the word it and is, it needs to have the apostrophe, absolutely. Whereas it's can be spelled like that, but that's if it belongs to something. And that's not what it means in this case. Perfect. And I think the last one is there's supposed to be a question mark instead of a period. Perfect. There we go. Um, yep. Yeah. So there's we have the you know. Um, all righty. Excellent. And any other ones? Um, three. Let's go. Um, Cassie, would you like to do number three? Um, for number three, um, it's supposed to be human, um, human, human foot uh, instead of foot. And then, um, Is, should 50 be like spelled out? Uh, in, it can be, but in this case, in, in a shorter bit of writing, it can be, especially since there's something special about that where that is said. Where that uh. is said. there needs to be quotation marks. So there should be, there are about 50 bones in a pair of human feet, quotation mark, the doctor explained. Oh. Right. But yeah, um, and that one, that's a tough one, but you got the, you got the spelling ones. Perfect, thank you very much. Um, Ryan, you haven't done one yet. Would you like to handle number four, please? Okay. Um, that's the an, should be an A. Um, the beats should be spelled B E A T S. Yeah. And, uh... Oh, Owen, did you want to add it? Want to help? A hundred thousand should be um numbers because it's long. It's a big number to spell. I mean, big number to write out. I think. Yes. Um. Well, yeah. That's again. Generally, you're going to want for a longer thing that's going to take up that much space to put in the number. That's that's another one in there. Absolutely. And for number five, I'll leave that one to a volunteer. Uh, Ryan, all right. If, any, um, if anyone else was volunteering, I need to see a hands up higher. Um, the, I think that astronauts needs to be spelled 
um, it's spelled wrong. And the don't needs an apostrophe. Yep, because it's a contraction. And weightlessness, I don't think that's a word. Weightlessness is, but they got the I before E. Oh, yeah, right. That's the, your eye caught it, but you, you didn't quite know what was wrong. Um, is there another one? Did sorry, one of the, uh, I think Maggie had your hand up. Did you want to add in what something you spotted? Um, so there is supposed to be spelled T H E I R. Perfect, their muscles, right? Yeah, not like muscles that are over there. Per absolutely. Owen, was that what you had your hand up? You wanted to say, all right. Um, all righty okay so that is generally what we're going to start every lesson with there's going to be five percent of those we're going to go um i'll just randomly pick people we'll uh yeah get them all sorted out um yeah starting next week i'm going to have every day you guys open a google document and you just get the work kind of done right on there but for now that's Good, thank you very much. Couple of the chats coming through there. So why, what are the, what are the main reasons that we participate in writing? Um, Owen, why don't you start us off? To persuade people to do something or like stuff like that. Yeah, so that's actually a couple ideas all got, got written into one, but kind of but yeah the idea of persuasion right like if you can communicate an idea clearly absolutely that's a good idea maggie yeah um so you can entertain yourself or others yeah right i mean go back a hundred years ago i mean and even probably less than that without before tv and cinema and i mean well before the internet right for thousands of years, writing and reading what other people wrote was our main source of entertainment for like extended long periods of times for entertainment. So yeah, uh, good one. Absolutely. Anyone else have a feedback on that one? All righty. So the reasons that we're going to be, and we're going to look at our textbook here for a second. So I'm going to get out of that. Hold on. Move back up and go to this so all right um before we actually go on to looking at what we were just talking about i'm not going to go drag you guys through the 22 pages of um the first little bit of the your your copy of the student uh textbook there's a lot it's basically what we're going to slowly work through over these 25 uh lessons but this last one here page 22 um you guys can you guys can see my screen right so when you are working on need quick reminders when you are editing other people's work when you need to just quick improvement stuff or small bits that you're not sure of keep this page 22 from your uh book in mind because it'll it'll bring you examples it'll bring you the rules and if you're struggling with some of them uh including some of the more advanced bits of writing in there this is a good little hand like good little guide to just be able to flip back to right so page 22 it's in the glossary of your textbook um write it down somewhere remember it i might mention it again but handy 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 to use so um right the reasons the textbook are going to give us and they're related to stuff we already talked about first one exploring your life Right. And that's why we're going with for now, for the first couple of weeks, we're going to be doing the weekly journal. Right. It's a good opportunity to get to know yourself when you're practicing writing uh, and you're writing a lot because you're going to see a lot of your common mistakes. The, the things that you do when you speak will start coming out when you write and common mistakes that you make will start becoming more evident so it's not only going to help you improve as a writer but it's also if you're keeping a journal you're going to get a way better knowledge of yourself and it'll help you develop as a person many supreme court justices in the united states presidents prime ministers kings as young 
men and women in, and CEOs, they kept journals, right? It's a good way to make sure that you keep improving on yourself if you're looking at yourself regularly and considering not just how you're writing, but if you're looking at your actions and you're reflecting on your behavior through a journal, it's a good tool um, for kind of self-improvement. So that's one great thing about writing. Um, also to understand ideas. To be able to explain an idea, you have to understand an idea. So if you're going to be able to write something out so that someone else, a teacher, your friends, your parents, your family members are gonna be able to explain it. You have to know better than what you're explaining, right? You have to take the big ideas, you gotta do the research, you gotta get the, the massive concept of it, break away the unnecessary bits and refine it down to the diamond that will be your paragraphs, your essays, your work, right? So, but to get to that point with that chisel diamond, you gotta start big, and understand what information is useless and what's the really valuable stuff. So writing gives you an opportunity to have a 